little kids boys running around with our dreams in hand the great love we found like staring at a sunset you don't know what to feel oh it's the beauty within this life and we're taking the wheel When the sun is out or in our hometown Do you wanna cry? It hits me so hard Harder than a fear in the night Do you ever think of me? Cause I'm not doing alright Oh, I remember Days would go by We didn't have no plans Just a natural high And where we'll be someday No matter what, when or where I'll be a phone call away Do you ever think of me Or did you say goodbye Or when the sun is out Or in our hometown Do you wanna cry It hits me so hard Harder than a fear in the night Do you ever think of me Cause I'm not Nostalgia follows me everywhere I go Chasing new things away, keeping me unwhole oh, 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 oh. I'm older now and I don't know how But I still think of you Us running around in our hometown Has got me missing you It's hard to just let go of the fear you never come back so now I'll ride alone, I'm letting go As you slip right through the cracks Oh, tell me, do you ever think of me? Or did you say goodbye? Oh, when the sun is out or in our hometown Do you wanna cry? It hits me so hard Harder than a fear in the night Do you ever think of me? Cause I'm not doing alright Just a natural high Talking about life and where we'll be someday No matter what, when or where I'll be a phone call away Do you ever think of me or did you say goodbye? Or when the sun is out or in our hometown Do you wanna cry? It hits me so hard Nostalgia follows me everywhere I go Chasing new things away, keeping me unwhole oh, 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 oh. I'm older now and I don't know how But I still think of you Us running around in our hometown Has got me missing you It's hard to just let go of the fear you never come back so now I'll ride alone, I'm letting go As you slip right through the cracks Oh, tell me, do you ever think of me? Or did you say goodbye? Oh, when the sun is out or in our hometown Do you wanna cry? It hits me so hard Harder than a fear in the night Oh, tell me, do you ever think of me? Cause I'm not Our Lord and our God, we come to you on this beautiful day that you have made, standing under the auspicious cloud of your grace. We ask for your presence, just as you were present in the wedding of Cana of Galilee, to be present with us now through your Holy Spirit. 
bless Mark and DeAndrea and grant them full understanding of their relationship with you. Enrich their lives by your grace that they may enjoy the comforts, endure the trials, and perform the duties of life together as a Christian couple under your guidance and in your protection. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Mark and DeAndre, I now charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that true love and the faithful observance of your marriage vows are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage and the home which you endeavor to establish will be a vain effort. So keep, my brother and sister, the solemn vows that you are about to make. Live with tender consideration for one another. Conduct your lives in honesty and in truth. And your marriage will last. And your home will endure. The marriage bond will be a blessing to you. And you will be a blessing to others. This should be remembered as you prepare to declare your desire to be wed. So Mark, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her and comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that's forsaking all others for her alone, that you will perform unto her all the duties that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you. If so, please respond by saying, I do. I do. DeAndrea, do you take this man to be your wedded husband? And do you solemnly promise before God and all of these witnesses that you will love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and that's forsaking all others for him alone, that you will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you. If so, please respond by saying, I do. I do. This is your desire to take each other as husband and wife, and everybody heard it. And you have joined your right hands already, even before I even said it. <laughs> we now will move into the portion of the marriage vows. I will give some traditional marriage vows, and then followed by that, you will give personal vows to one another. Hi, Mark. Hi, DeAndrea. Take thee, DeAndrea. Take thee, Mark. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness <laughs> and in health. To love and to cherish. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. I pledge you my love. I pledge you my love. Again, in addition to these traditional vows, Mark and DeAndrea have also prepared personal vows that they'd like to share with one another. And I'll ask you to share them at this time. DeAndrea, I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I promise to keep you on my mind at every second of every day. I promise to strive to be the godly example that you are. I promise to be a loving father to our children as I know they couldn't have a more loving mother. I promise to be patient and understanding. I promise to wake you up every night off the couch. <laughs> I promise to try not to pick my teeth and put the dishes in the dishwasher. I promise to know the name of every movie and every song, and especially the year that it was made, and I promise that my love for you will never go away. Um, I wanted to list a few reasons why you're the only one for me. You're the only one that puts up with my impressions and accents, even though I do them almost every day. You're the biggest Columbus Adult League hockey fan. <laughs> you're the only one that I've rushed the field at Ohio Stadium with and you're my one and only homecoming queen. Uh, you're the only one that I've flown across the Atlantic with, and that you're the only person that I know will love me unconditionally. And um, most importantly, um, that I knew that I could be with you for the rest of my life is you're the only one that's ever told me that I've been with that they wanted to be with me in heaven. Mark. I can't believe this day is finally here. It seems like just yesterday I was meeting you for the first time. According to Google, we've known each other for 1,505 days. <laughs> we have overcome every challenge we have faced together. 
I'm so happy to be here with you today and look forward to all of our days to come. Thank you for letting me become a bigger hockey fan than you are. <laughs> it has been so much fun losing our voices to football and hockey games. We literally have a way of singing to the TV together. It's our way of yelling in harmony, as I like to call it. <laughs> when we watch the Jackets and the Buckeyes, it's one of my favorite times of the year. I love you more every day. I love, the, I love that you will endlessly encourage me to be at my absolute best. You're always motivating me to go for the next position or even find my true passion. I too want you to have everything you want in life. You deserve the world and so much more. I will motivate you to do it all. I want you to achieve excellence professionally and even in personal goals. I want you to make a movie someday. I know that is your passion. I've never seen someone care for others the way that you have done. I can tell you will be an amazing father someday. I love that about you. I promise to be on time. Okay, <laughs> at least some of the time. <laughs> to cook meat and fish for you, even though I only eat fish these days. To never go to bed angry, to pray together, to laugh at your jokes, even when you tell the same stories over and over again. <laughs> To learn to budget with you, I know you'll help me in this area. <laughs> to put our relationship first, after God. I promise to love you with my whole heart and always be in the moment with you. Our love may not be textbook, but it is genuinely ours. It can be insane at times, but I know that we love each other unconditionally. I am truly blessed because I get to build my forever with you. I love you in sickness and in health, through sorrow and success for all of the days of my life. Would you pray with me? Now, Lord, we celebrate the reality that Mark and DeAndrea have now become one. We ask as a community that you will guard their marriage. Let your love shine through them. Bless them with the love that is patient the love that is kind, that is not envious or boastful. Bless them with the love that keeps no record of wrongs, but always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Bless them with the love that never fails. And the caring, compassionate, and convicting name of Jesus we pray, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. For as much as Mark and DeAndrea have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, I now pronounce by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of this state that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Brother Mark, you may now kiss your bride. What therefore God has joined together, let no man, nor woman for that matter, put asunder. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Heller.
For those of you who don't know me, my name is Natalie. I'm the maid of honor and the best friend of the bride. I want to start off by saying that every once in a while, two people meet and you know it's meant to be. You know instantly that the stars have aligned and their paths would bring them together regardless of what the world may throw their way. This was clearly the case over 22 years ago when Deanna and I first met. <laughs> Looking back over the years and remembering when I first met Deanne, it truly amazes me that something so simple as sitting with someone on the first day of kindergarten could change our lives forever. There are no words big enough to describe how much I love you. I know God crossed our paths for a reason and I will be forever grateful. I don't know where I would be without you, but I do know that standing here today on your wedding day is exactly where we're supposed to be. We've been there for each other through the hardest times and the happiest times, and I've had the opportunity to watch DeAndrea grow, change, and evolve into the beautiful woman that sits before us today, and I am honored to call her my best friend. She is smart, generous, and caring. She has a heart of gold and an innate sense of good that she is willing to stand behind. She puts thought, effort, and dedication into everything she does, and I know Deanne will do the same in her new role as Mrs. Hellard. Now, I don't have any childhood stories about Mark, so I will let his best man tell those. I do want to say that I truly appreciate how happy you've made DeAndrea. The first time I saw you together, I could tell how much you adore her. And I knew this day would come. You both found the person you can't live without. Not only do you love each other, but you care about other people more than anyone I know. And as her husband, I understand that you are going to be her very best friend. And I'm willing to pass the torch to you because I know you make her happy. And I know that she loves you more than words can describe. Also, you're the calmest person I've ever seen when Deanna's running late. <laughs> so please join me in raising our glasses and toast to a life full of love and happiness. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hellard. <laughs> I gotta let the uh, maid of honor down here. I don't have any more child stories. I met it when I was 23, so, uh, but, uh, when I uh, first moved back to Columbus after uh, college, I had the misfortune of meeting a lot of people that went to Ohio University, and uh, and uh, they were all uh, they were like, "This guy you got to meet, uh, you get along so great. You know, he's a real weirdo, just like you." Uh, <laughs> and that <laughs> that was Mark, and we uh, but uh, we got along we got along great together. We really did. We hit it off uh, so well that we uh, ended up being roommates off and on for about the next four years. So we all know that Mark loves the movies, right? That's like his favorite thing, besides his new wife. Uh, but uh, we, and, I mean, he, he probably missed his true life's calling by being some type of movie writer or critic. But uh, we would spend so much time watching movies together, and uh, we would play this game where we would like watch a movie and then like imagine it if it was like about us. Like, uh, to like help us through life's trials and tribulations. So, uh, so like, so we'd like watch Top Gun and be like, "No, I'm Maverick. You're Goose." Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys today some stories about Mark in a way that only he'll understand. So the rest of you just, you know, zone out if you want for the next ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, last night I asked Mark to give me his top three favorite movies of all time, uh, and I'm gonna use them to kind of reimagine a few points of Mark's life for us today. So his number three favorite movie of all time is the movie Tremors uh, from 1992. It's uh, <laughs> starring Kevin Bacon, uh, and he he saves a town from these alien worm snakes. And uh, <laughs> so so yeah, you think <laughs> Mark is Kevin Bacon? No, I don't know. Mark was really a more like the Tremor snakes, which were like they burrow underground and then they burst up in a place where you didn't want them and make a lot of noise and they knock stuff off walls. <laughs> That was, so that was kind of like Mark when I first met him. Mark's number two favorite movie of all time, number two as he tells me last night, uh, is uh, White Men Can't Jump. And uh, 
this movie, uh, Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson uh, hustle suckers for money on basketball courts. And uh, so you're like thinking like Mark is more like Wesley Snipes or more like Woody Harrelson. The answer is neither. Uh, this movie makes me think of Mark because of Rosie Perez's character. <laughs> Uh, because she plays Jeopardy every night on TV. So Mark and I, we play Jeopardy constantly. Uh, it was really, it's one of my uh, favorite memories of Mark because we would scream and yell at the TV and about who said the, the answer first. Uh, and I'm sure our neighbors absolutely dreaded 7 p.m. weeknights. Mark's number one favorite movie of all time is Wayne's World. Uh, <laughs> in this movie, a uh, idealistic dreamer uh, puts away his sophomoreish tendencies to, uh, to to marry the love of his life, who in the movie is named Cassandria. In real life, Mark met Deandria. Uh, uh, thanks for laughing, everybody. Uh, I, I've been really busy the last four years with school and work, and Mark, I really do miss the time that we used to hang out with each other and do stupid stuff like uh, going to Magic Mountain to play the Simpsons video game before they put video games in hipster bars. So what I'm really saying is saying, I got married five months ago, you got married today. Maybe we should get an apartment again together. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Deandria, uh, just a couple of things I'm sure you probably already know, but uh, you know, Mark is a great guy. He's a lot of fun, super creative. You know he's a little stubborn too sometimes, in a good way, in a good way. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I could just tell, you know, when Mark told me that, you know, he was in love with you, and that you, know, you were the one. Um, I, I knew it was only a matter of time before we'd be here today. You know, he, he's so resolute in his convictions. I know he'll never stop loving you. Your, your vows today were great. Uh, you set me up pretty good for this because I, I want you guys to make your life your own move. So here's looking at you kids. <laughs>